Okay, sorry, I gotta talk quiet on this one, guys. Um, kids are sleeping in their bed over there. Uh, we're in the Dells. It was down to 13 degrees last night. <coughs> Did a... Why does I keep going to max? I'm not actually charging the car. Um, I did a 90% charge last night, it was 13 degrees though, because I wanted to save um, for the morning to do a range charge uh, to top off the battery pack to recover any losses I had gotten overnight. Um, Stop charging, it stated uh, 169.8 miles, and um, so I hit range charge this morning. And uh, it was only charging at about 10 amps at 2, 240 volt uh, because the battery pack had cold soaked for a number of hours. So what I did is I turned on the cabin heater, which will also initiate uh, battery warming. Um, it's still 13 degrees out, so I was a really cold soaked battery. Um, car is now up to 74 on the interior I'm going to 80 degrees oh, in case uh, I'm using the visible Tesla app uh, desktop application not made or endorsed by Tesla awesome program just from heating the battery you can see um, I'm drawing 40 amps off of shore power and I'm actually using 1.6 amps from the battery it even tells me how long is left for the pack heating. Or is that uh, not just pack heating, but the uh, possibly... Oh, let's see, it just went up another degree. 76. Um, just from heating the pack, this somewhat confirms Tesla's um, state that uh, uh, statement to me that uh, the, pa the car takes into consideration losses uh, due to temperature. I don't know how many of you know how lead-acid battery batteries work, but um, once you get to freezing, you lost about 50% of the available power out of a lead-acid car battery. Uh, once you get down to a zero, you're down to about 25%. Anything below zero, you're lucky if it'll start your car at all. Deep cycle batteries are roughly the same way. So, um, I've gained 2.4 miles rated range estimated is based on my recent driving and ideal is um, a fixed number based uh, based on a fixed watts per mile but it's rated as what we want that's the most accurate closest to what you're actually actually estimated as closest to what you're actually using but uh, rated is based on EPA and I'm up to 172.2 so I gained uh, 2.4 uh, miles and we're still drawing uh, you can see now uh, amperage is tapering off uh, battery current is still negative 8 No, that's negative 8 at the 300 and something volts that the uh, car operates at, not at 240. <clears throat> you know what? I'm pretty sure now the time left is based on what the car thinks it's going to take to finish heating the cabin. Interior is now 78 degrees. I just melted a little bit of snow off the windshield. 13 outside. Oops. The program also graphs real nice your energy consumption voltages. There you go. That's, uh, that's a different thing this program graphs. And get this. The new, this is the newest version. It's got a scheduler. So that means, um, well, I already have the car to start charging at home. I'm not at home, but uh, start charging the car every every night at 7 p.m. I can now automatically 
schedule it, because it's winter time, to switch and do a range charge every day at, uh, at uh, 6 a.m. So that way I recover my uh, my losses uh, before I ha and warm the pack before I go. I wonder, can we do, uh, let's see what, what options there are. Oh, screw that. I can do uh, the, uh, preheat and pre-cool the car. Start charge, stop charge, charge to standard, charge to max, charge to low. Low would probably be a 50% charge. Uh, put the car to sleep. Daydream and awake. I'm going to have to look into those. I'm not sure what those specifically are. Honk horn, flashlights, wake up, unlock, lock. Draw on six kilowatts now. Might have missed, but I think estimated might have just changed. Still drawing 27 amps. Um, I'm not sure how much of that is pack heater. Oh, battery current just dropped to... Uh, point 0.1. Oh, now the car's cooling. <laughs> no, that's because it's above 82 degrees. Or above 80 degrees, and I only wanted it at 80, so we're going to shut that off. <clears throat> so I don't know how much of that was pack, pack heater or um, cabin heater. I can attest that uh, pack heater does draw a lot of power. Almost didn't make it make it to the Dells last night. Rolled in just as it ticked down to zero miles. Um, in the car's defense, I was doing 80 miles an hour for some period, a period of time on the freeway. All right, so let's uh, do a, start a max charge. See what the rates are now. Now, before I, I heated the pack, it was giving me an estimate of five hours to go from 90 to 100%. Um, like, wow, that's a long time. I'm going to experiment a little more this evening as it, we're getting down to five degrees all night, maybe even lower. So, I'm going to do a, one of my explained videos uh, explaining the importance of heating your battery pack and how much it can affect your range. All right, 39 amps, 228 volts, 25.8 miles per hour re regained charging. Already at 173.6. Oh, that was a big that was a quick jump. Had to be a little bit due to uh, warming the pack there. 45 minutes. Well, I will need the extra range today as I'm going to go 50 miles out of my way just to Mauston to check to see if there's any supercharger construction status over there. So. Still half a freaking sleep here. 8.30 already. Holy moly. It's that early? Or that late? Okay, not charging. Let's just see. Overview. Options. Ooh. Too bad I actually changed the actual color of the car. It wasn't that easy. Black. 
rims. Oh, the rims. I like gray 19s. Rough. Definitely Imperial. I'm going to have to look through the documentation. Find out about the sleep and daydreaming stuff. I wonder if that means we can put the car to sleep. But I will say my car still has not gone into sleep mode yet, ever. Two hours, 16 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what my camera can record on this memory card yet. Um, 43 minutes is the estimated. I doubt that's accurate at this moment. So, I'm going to let it go. See what it ends up at.